I never thought it would enter my vocabulary to be like, oh, Tenley's back, good. Like, I, that shouldn't be part of my life, and yet it is. What are your thoughts on Bachelor in Paradise right now? Who do you love? Who do you not love? Man. And just the whole Bachelor, you know, fandom. I don't understand how I went from watching this show as a joke to being like, but Tanner and Jade are cute together. Oh, I went to sell Brit in Target. Yeah. I've never been more starstruck in my life. And she had like the red lipstick on and everything. And I was like, oh God, oh my, oh my God. I've certainly run into more famous people than her, but like, <laughs> she was it for me. And what did you think of The Bachelorette this season? I loved it. I thought Caitlyn, I love how she plays by her own rules. Mm -hmm. I, it's so amazing to me, actually, how feminist that show can be because the men fall apart. They just like crumble, they can't take it. Yeah, I think you're Okay. I don't think you're here just for Caitlyn. I didn't think I was gonna cry. <laughs> You're about to make me lose my cool, and I'm not okay with it. <laughs> Immediately I lose. Immediately I lose. I lose. Ah, <sighs> son of a bitch. I loved how she was like, I don't like you. Can you leave right now? And like, they just what? Left that guy on the cliff? Come on, Chris. All <laughs> ben H is the new Bachelor. What do you want for Ben H? Oh, man. I want him to find like an Ashley S kind of person, like a Ooh. crazer. <laughs> And I feel like he will marry the first person he meets on that show and it will last 800 years. The only fight he and his wife will ever get in is like, I wanted to be on the BT PTA. No, I wanted to be on the PTA. Like, that's how good of people he, he and his wife will be. I feel like the producers of The Bachelor only brought Brit back to mm -hmm. go against versus Caitlyn because they hated her that much. I counted the votes. Okay. A majority of the men have chosen one woman who they can hopefully see a future with. Um, Britt, unfortunately, you're not going to be the Bachelorette. Sorry. They were like, let's just <laughs> rub it in. And then let's send her the dumpiest guy to go follow her. And then she has to pretend she's in a relationship with him for the entire season. I came here for Brit. She's the sweetest, most beautiful person like I think I've ever met. Who is your favorite and least favorite bachelor in all history or bachelorette? Oh, Juan Pablo's the least favorite. Just gross. So gross. I can love you. I can do whatever I want. But if you don't feel it, Andy, it's okay. Who is my least favorite bachelorette? For absolutely no reason, I'm just gonna go with Trista. Just because, <laughs> like, really to this day, I can't believe it's worked out for them in such a great way. Somehow, love working cheapens that show. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go with her, even though she has a beautiful life. If you had to date any of the guys on The Bachelor, who would be your number one pick to get a rose from? Tanner. I think he does have a sense of humor, and I think yeah. he is sort of dry, and I love that he got so far, and then with Caitlyn, when she said goodbye to him, he was like, it's been fun. And then instantly hooks up with Jade, who reminds me of him. They're both delightful. I would I would want the rose from Tanner. Jared I would accept a rose from only to piss everyone else in the room off. I mean, he gets one date card, and all of a sudden two people are crying, and one guy is screaming. If you could, you know, hope for anything towards the end of the season, what do you want to happen you on that know, island? It's so gross. <laughs> this is how this show has grabbed me, is I legitimately want them to find love. Hi. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Hey, I'm Brian Safi. You're watching me on Us Weekly. Be sure to check out Young and Hungry on ABC Family and check out Throwing Shade every Thursday on iTunes. Listen, watch, live, love. The Bachelor. Watch me as the next Bachelor coming in 2016.